So continuing onward with speech applications and OpenAI, let's have a look at text-to-speech. The link to this code is in the description. So let's go ahead and run this part. This is very, this code that I'm doing here, that I'm going to first open in Colab. This code that I'm using here is very OpenAI specific. Uh, I'm not using Langchain because this is speech and text. We will use a little bit of Langchain when we build the chatbot using text-to-speech and speech-to-text. So I'm going to assume you have your OpenAI key in the keys section in Colab, like is common for this, this tool. And we're going to install the necessary stuff. Now I do have Langchain in here, even though we're not using it, but this is just primarily what we've been working with up to this time. So I will leave that in there. Text-to-speech, that is where you take text and you render it as, as speech. While that's installing, we'll, we'll talk about this. There's a, there's a number of voices that it gives you access to. There's Alloy, which is sort of the default one. It's kind of a neutral. I don't know that it's particularly strongly male or female. Um, and then they give you a variety of, of male and female voices of, of different type. There are two models that you can deal with. There's the TTS-1 and then TTS-1 HD. HD is a little bit slower, but it gives you better sounding speech. Now, often you're interacting with somebody who is, who is talking to you. So you do want to, you might want to use the faster one when you're in a actual chat situation, just so that your responses can be relatively quick. Here you'll see that it says, I'm one of the OpenAI voices. How can I help you? This is really all you have to do. You're specifying TTS-1. You could put high def in there if you wanted to. And we're going to use Alloy. So it generated it. The audio data is in here. Now, it's not speaking it yet. You'll hear that in a second. Hello there. I am one of the OpenAI chat voices. How are you? So that's, their, that's Alloy, which is apparently neither a male nor female voice. You can also store it to a file. You can, can then basically, basically download it, and you can play it locally. We won't go through that. It's, it's an MP3 file. It would be easy enough for you to, to, to play it. So you can see this is really pretty simple. You don't need to do um, a, a, lot, a lot here. You can, you can basically say, put this in, and it, it renders it for you. Now the thing is, you do need an internet connection. If you don't have an internet connection available, like, uh, like Alexa is actually quite useless when there's no internet around. It, she can't even tell you what time it is. So clearly all of her speech recognition is occurring in the cloud, as is the case with the applications you would develop with this. So let's, let's do a multi-voice sample. I'm going to loop through all of these voices so that you can hear what they all sound like. And we're going to loop through them. I'm going to say, hello, I am the Alloy or Onyx or all these cute names that they have for their various voices. And text-to-speech one. Um, so that's that is basically um, using not the higher def one, but the regular one. We're going to use PyDub so that we can basically link these together. So we're going to get one audio sample that has a whole bunch of these. You could even create an audio sample that intermixed, say, between recorded speech from you and what it's, what it's saying. And then we, we get the combined thing and we, we output it. So let's go ahead and run this. We'll hear all of the voices. Okay, it's generated it. So now let's play it. Hello, I am, Hello, the, I am the Alloy voice. Hello, I am the Echo voice. Hello, I am the Fable voice. Hello, I am the Onyx voice. Hello, I am the Nova voice. Hello, I am the Shimmer voice. So there, you, you've heard all of them. You can pick which one you like the best. Which one do you like the best? Let me, let me know in the comments. Then we can save the, the audio to, to a file. Um, and we can even download the file. There's not a lot to this. It's really fairly simple. You're saying the, the voice and the, uh, uh, the, that you want. There are a couple of standards for how you put emotion in and other things into here. Like you could, you could put a laugh or you could put 
um, say, say certain things with emphasis. So it does try to do some of that. So like if I, if I run this one, it'll say, hello there. And then we run it. Hello there. Hello there. I'm one of the OpenAI chat voices. How are you? You can put other things in here and it'll try to detect the emotion for you. you. Unfortunately, I forget what it's called, but there is a markup language for how you would mark up this. And some of the other platforms do, do support that. But let's see. Oh my gosh. What the heck are you doing? And by the way, it will do profanity if you ask it to. I really don't want to get my video demonetized, so let's not do profanity. And then let's say, oh, I am okay now. Actually, kind of bored. Like you're probably bored with my video by this point, are you? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> so let's run this and see if it puts some, usually it does put some emotion in there that it detects. Gosh, oh my gosh, what the heck are you doing? Okay oh, I am okay now. now. Acutely, kind Acutely kind of bored. So that's uh, a little bit maybe there. It, it's not at least like the very monotone um, uh, uh, versions of computer voices that we used to have. Like, I don't know if anybody's watched War Games, but shall we play a game? <laughs> I remember that video or that uh, that movie from from a long time ago now at, at this point. But anyway, that's the, that's the video. So um, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.